Friends, in this video of I Thought Advisory, I'm going to talk to you on the topic separating the grain from the chaff. This is on mutual funds. We have so many mutual funds. In the equity mutual fund space, there are numerous schemes and we are spoiled for choice. Over the past few years, some mutual funds enjoyed a lot of patronage, especially from investors who invest on their own. The DIY category invested in specific schemes of mutual funds who were habituated to buying expensive stocks. These mutual funds are today the worst performing in their categories. The bad news doesn't stop there. I expect them to perform even worse in the coming days. So if you are a DIY investor who has bought into the schemes which invested in expensive companies, then you need to sit up and take notice. More importantly, you need to act now. Buying expensive companies in a mutual fund scheme has multiple consequences. First, you showed returns at an early stage, you got more money, you continue to invest in the same expensive companies using the incremental capital that you collected from existing investors and from new investors. You built a big SIP book and used it only to prop up valuations of your already expensive stocks. Then these expensive stocks started to crack. You continue to buy the same stocks. Investors who are selling these stocks were able to exit these stocks by selling to you. And then you stopped getting funds. So you could not support these stocks anymore. Schemes started losing NAV, started underperforming their benchmark, were way below peers in performance. Why did this all happen? It happened because of the utter disregard for valuations. Fund managers fell in love with stocks and bought them at any valuation without maintaining the basic discipline which an investor is expected to always adhere to. Valuation is always like a Lakshman Rekha. You should not cross that line to do things which hurt investors. Yet, Fund managers who bought expensive companies repeatedly did this for a long time. And then their game started falling apart. Today you are seeing these fund managers underperform. More importantly, there still are investors who are still waiting that some miracle will come in and make them show performance. But between now and Whenever that miracle happens, there is more underperformance and bad performance awaiting those investors. If you are one of those investors, do sit up and take notice. Act before it is too late. Go to a fund manager who is more responsible with your money and who is more diligent in investing your money into stocks, who values valuations correctly and invests in a sensible way. Time is a very important ingredient in getting returns. If you give your time to a fund manager who is not going to do anything different between now and when the returns will happen, you have no control over that time. It may take much longer than all of us imagine. So regain some lost time and go to a better place. It is important that you move away from fund managers whose investment style is just as good as chaff and find those fund managers who will treat your money with respect and ensure that it performs in due course. Thank you for watching this video.